on this schematic window CMOS common source simplifier go to launch launch layout excel create new click on ok new file library cmos underscore amplifiers you created library nothing will change click on ok this window is layout editor window here go to connectivity generate all from source position in boundary preserve user defined bindings ok now press shift F you will see layers inside this PMOS and NMOS you extend PR boundary for that press S from keyboard and click on this edge and move press escape now arrange these pins and PMOS and NMOS this is second PMOS this one is first PMOS This pin is VDD. Both PMOS and NMOS are integrated. Select this NMOS, PMOS, right click, properties, parameter, body tie type integrated, ok. Same as another PMOS, right click on PMOS, properties, parameter body tie type integrated ok now select nmos right click properties parameter integrated body tie type ok this is v out pin v out is connected to both drain of pmos and nmos For connection, go to create wiring wire. Click on this output pin and connect. Now VDD is connected to both PMOS and both PMOS source and substrate. Escape. Now VSS. This is VSS pin. It is connected to NMOS, Substrate and VSS drain. Now connect input pins, V in and V bias. V bias is connected both PMOS gate and drain of first input, first PMOS. Escape. To connect gate, go to create via via definition M1 to poly place. Escape. 
V in is connected to N MOS gate. VIN is connected. This is V by R spin. Arrange the pins like it makes connection easy. Both PMOS gate is connected to V V bias. And first PMOS drain is connected to V bias. Now this finishes connection of CMOS common source amplifier. Now save this layout. Click this icon here. Save. Now check for DRC design rule check and any error is there in making connection. For that go to Ashura. Select technology. Browse technology. Select home, in home select install, in install foundry, in foundry analog, in analog 180 nanometer technology, in 180 nanometer technology you select ashura underscore tech dot lib file, then click on ok, click on ok, now again go to ashura, run drc, here View Technology GPDK 180. Then press click on OK. No DRC errors found. No errors in connection. Close this window. Now Compare layout with schematic. Run LVS. Technology GPDK 180. Click on OK. This window will pop up. It shows zero cells mismatch and zero net mismatch device mismatch. It compares with layer schematic. Then click on yes. schematic and layout match now close all this log window also you can close to extract RC go to Ashura run Qantas 
setup output file extracted view now go to extraction tab extraction type rc reference node vdd in down u disable hrcx now click on ok click on watch log file in log file you can see that how many resistors are there in common source amplifier pmos nmos and capacitor now you can see this message the contest run completed successfully close this open C cds dot log window that is ciw window go to tools open library manager here see library in library cs amplifier cell cs mp av extracted double click on that press shift f you can see here resistors PMOS and MOS resistors capacitors and all it is AV extracted file now close this select CSAMP test bench test bench file for configuration you have to open test bench in configuration mode go to file select CAMP underscore test go to file new new cell view here you change type config nothing will change only config you select click on ok this is configuration file here go to use template name spectre click on ok in top cell view you select schematic then click on ok this one is table view go to tree view here in this io folder click on this right click on this set instance view av extracted now save this configuration file save launch ADEL window same procedure is followed setup go to setup model libraries select G180 nanometer technology click on ok analysis choose transient 5 milli moderate ok choose AC response start from 1 1 to 10 giga sweep type logarithmic 20 Decade points is 20. Click on OK. Now go to variables. Copy from cell view. Design variables V by S underscore N. Value 592 M milli. Now select outputs. Go to output to be plotted. Select on design, select input wire, 
and output wire now simulation netlist and run This one is common source amplifier output waveforms V in and V out This, uh, this is AC response In AC response Right click Copy to new window rectangular Open ADEL window In AC response window You have to calculate UGB unity gain bandwidth For that go to ADEL window Select result In result select direct plot AC magnitude and phase This schematic test range schematic pops up Select output next V out then press escape from keyboard you will get phase and magnitude waveform in magnitude waveform you create marker for marker press M this marker gives DC gain after simulation place a horizontal cursor at 0 db and the crossing frequency gives the unity gain bandwidth ugb to place 0 db line go to marker create marker select horizontal here you select 0 db type 0 db click on ok here once again you press M from keyboard you can move that click marker where this 0 db line intersects this is unity gain bandwidth Mark this and uh, compare with pre layout simulation. This ends CMOS common source amplifier with P PMOS mirror load.